Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and today we are going to be looking at some subtraction facts. We're going to be looking at minus nine facts. And I know that you are going to do an amazing job because I'm going to teach you a trick. It's so easy. Now there are already two questions up here that I think that you will know right away. The first one is nine, take away nine, or nine minus nine. So that one's pretty easy. If you have nine and you take nine away, you don't have anything left. So the answer is zero. The other one that you might be able to recognize is 18 minus nine. If you know your doubles facts, you know that nine plus nine is 18. And so if you have 18 and you take nine away, well, that was half of it. So your answer is gonna be nine. Nine plus nine equals 18, and 18 minus nine is nine. Well, we're gonna do two things to help us learn all of the other ones. One, I'm gonna teach you a trick. And number two, we're gonna take a look at our hundreds chart to help us with some of these questions. But I think I wanna teach you my trick first. Are you ready? Well, this one I think is pretty easy. It is 10, take away nine. So if you have 10 and you take away nine, that's almost taking away all of them. How many would you have left? You're right, it's one. And I would like for you to see our little trick. I want you to look at the number 10. And there are two digits, the digit one and the digit zero. If you were to add those two digits together, what would your answer be? One plus zero is? Well, it's one, isn't it? And what was our answer? Our answer was one. Well, let's look at 11 take away nine. Hmm. We would have 9, 10, 11. It would only take two more to get to 11. So 11 take away 9 is 2. Well, let's look at our trick again. We're going to look at the number 11. There's two digits in it, 1 and a 1. When we add 1 plus 1 together, what's the answer? <gasps> it's 2! On both of these, if you add the two digits of your top number, it gives you the answer to the question. I think that's such a fun trick. Well, let's try it on this one. We have 12 minus nine. There are two digits in the number 12, a one and a two. If you add them together, what's the answer? It's three, isn't it? Well, if we have 12 and we take nine away, our answer is three. And so this trick works on all of these questions, except for nine minus nine, which is super, super easy to remember. Well, before we finish all of these, let's take a look at the 100s chart. Class using a 100s chart can really help you when you're learning your subtraction facts. It can help you see patterns and help you understand what it means to take something away or to add it. Well, today we are going to be doing some subtraction facts. And the first one that I want to look at is 11 take away 9. So here we have 11, and I am going to just put my little card like that so we remember where we started. And we're gonna count back nine. So we're at 11, we're gonna count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, 11 minus nine is two. We could even count up from 9, 9, 10, 11. Start at 9 and count 10, 11 for us to figure out the difference between 9 and 11. Let's just take a look at where 11 and 2 are. Do you see that they are kind of 
kind of diagonal to each other. If we were taking 10 away from 11, we'd go directly above it. But this time we have to go directly above and one over because 9 is one less than 10. All right, now we are going to try 12 minus 9. 12, and we're going to count back 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. We could also do it another way. We could start at 9 and count to 12. 1, 2, 3 because there is a difference of 3 between 12 and 9. Well, now we're going to start at 13, and we're going to count back 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. Take away 9 is 4. Hmm. I wonder if we started at 9 and we counted up to 13 if that would also give us four. One, two, three, four. The difference between 13 and nine is four. Well, what about 14 minus nine? Can you guess which answer it would be? Are you saying five? Because it would be up and over one. Well, let's check and see if you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You were right. 14 minus nine is five. Another way to think about it would be if we started at nine and we counted to 14. One, two, three, four, five. There is a difference of five between 14 and nine. I would love for you to play with your hundreds chart today to see more patterns while you are subtracting. Wasn't it fun to see the pattern on the 100s chart? Let's keep trying the trick here. We have 13 minus nine. If we were to use our magic math, we could add the one and the three together, and that would be four. And our answer is four. 13 minus nine is four. And what about way over here, 14 minus nine? If we add the one and the four together, it gives us five. And that is the answer. 14 minus nine is five. 15 minus nine, yell it out because you know what one plus five is. It's six. And Try the trick right here. 16 minus nine is one plus six, which is seven. And I bet that you can already figure out what 17 minus nine is. You're right, it is eight because our trick works, doesn't it? One plus seven equals eight. Now, that's just a trick to figure it out. Probably didn't help you understand it. So I hope that you take some more time to look at the 100s chart to figure out how to subtract nine from a number. Well class, thank you so much for learning with me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.